and then in there we'll just create a, a class there and we're going to name it a file and it won't extend anything so in the um, constructor there let's just say echo instantiated file um, class okay so of course we're gonna have to give this a namespace of um, app backslash um, models okay so let's go to our index here let's duplicate this and instead of instantiating user let's instantiate file and one last thing let's go and do a composer dump auto load so that it creates those um, namespaces for us okay so i'll just refresh this as you can see instantiated file class okay okay so um one last thing i'd like to explain is that um inside of um our app base folder here we do not have to create subfolders so uh, i started with that because i just need to explain that um subfolders also work by convention so psr4 is all about conventions and um when followed it will make your development life so much easier and um as usual you don't have to follow it but i recommend that you do okay so let's create one file inside of our app um, folder here so let's just name it something like um help us dot php okay so i press enter and inside there let's open up a php tag and create a class called help us so let's say help us and the class name will be help us of course and it wouldn't extend anything so let's um inside of the constructor here let's remove the arguments and just echo a statement there saying instantiated help us class okay so now that we've created that what namespace do we expect for the helper class to have and of course since the base namespace for our app folder is app the only namespace required here is app as well so we're going to call it namespace app and that's it since this does not reside in any subfolders we do not have to append any namespaces here and psr4 will know that by convention right see how much easier that is so let's go and um, run composer done auto load again to recreate um, all those namespaces for us and so let's go back in our browser now um, actually before we do that let's go in the index.php now let's instantiate um, that um, helper file so let's say help us equals to new app backslash help us and uh, just have a look at the difference between these um, instantiations up here and the last one here so this one here after app we do not have any um, subfolders that's why um, we're just instantiating the class directly so let's go to our browser refresh as you can see instantiated help us class okay so um this makes your life so much easier and if you're using laravel and wondering why all those classes are available to you automatically without you doing any manual work just know that this is what is happening behind the scenes in all the sub um, packages that um, you have installed by creating a new laravel project okay so there we have it guys um psr4 autoload future for composer explained and um as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and i'll see you soon in the next video where we're going to take a look at another um, future of the autoload for Composer or J Jason. Right, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.